morning guys, welcome to Flory Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Tuesday the 24th of January 2017. To be honest, we are starting today properly with the A10 build. So we've got all the bits and pieces out here. And what we're doing is a little bit of a comparison this morning on the various parts we're using and the reasons whilst we change them. Um, so some of them are quite obvious. So down in here, the kit comes with very nice bits and pieces, but it's got vinyl tires. Never a fan of vinyl tires. So that's why we're sort of replacing them with the resin ones. So what we're gonna do is unpackage them all, put them side by side so you can see a uh, the comparison. And also things like cockpit details. When is it the right way to sort of think, right, well, that's no good. Okay, that's go resin. Or you think, yeah, actually that's not too bad. Let's go down the photo etch line. So just because you know, you're spending all the money doesn't necessarily mean you have to go warts and all with all the resin bits when sometimes a photo etch will do just as well. Okay, so we're gonna explain a little bit about, obviously we've got some good reference materials. We've got this, we've got stuff on the computer. We've got seats coming out of our ears. We've got the internals. And we're looking at some of the component parts to see how we're actually gonna put it together. So that's what we're working on this morning. Um, got to thank uh, uh, Tony or Anthony uh, Turnbull. He has sent me some patches for our packable collection, which is going to take over the world. I must admit, Mel is up for me having a proper patch wall upstairs in the office now, which is a bit of a bonus because the only thing I've been allowed in there. But we got all the patches from the carrier group. Okay, so as you see, we've got them all down here. Nice one from the Hornet. Okay, we've got the Stennis and uh, we've got the Carl uh, Vinson. Nimitz, okay, and we've got there the uh, George uh, Washington, and we've got down here, well, there's, oh, the Iwo Jima, which actually goes very nice with my carrier. I might end up being put down with that one as well. So thank you very much for that. As I say, I'm gonna spend uh, probably a day at some point redoing it. I'm gonna get some, I'm thinking using phone call, it's my new best friend. It's so easy to work with, and you can literally carve it up and chop it up to whatever you want with no real tools required. And then you can actually hang that on, so it might even paint the board or cover it and then put all of those onto it and then that way you can maneuver it around because uh, at the moment I've got like a giant pinball with them all on but it's well and truly full up now there's no way that's going to happen anymore. Um, I have had a couple of deliveries in, I had this one in yesterday, I know what it is um, but I just um, literally I haven't even um, boxed it. Now this has got something in here which is going to cause a load of controversy again and I know it's old school but to be honest I've only just literally come into the UK um, but yes it is extremely expensive. Yes I know. Will I build it straight away would be the next color ask question and everything else like that and I'm like probably not for a while but it is here it is overpriced and it is a bloody great box. There we go, that is the uh, SU-34. Okay, it's 107 quid here in the UK. That is incredibly a lot of money, especially when you put it up against everything else. And I know you've got the people out there that are saying, yes, but it's this, this, and this. Until I get in the box and can give you an honest review, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. And that's, to be honest, why I haven't mentioned anything about this before. Uh, I know a lot of you guys on the forum, especially, you've got it, and we know there's a couple being built at the moment. Um, Hans did a fantastic review of this as well that's already been up. That's why I wasn't that worried about getting one in quickly uh, and everything else like that. But we will see, we will get there. We'll do it, and obviously I'll link it up to Hans's review and all the bits and pieces like that. Jesus God, packaging. But, because we were talking about tools and obviously expenses in the hobby and everything else like that, I have bought a few little tools. So down here we've got one of these, uh, what is it, a four in one um, razor saw. So the blades are actually attached here in the handle. So we're going to be looking at that in the near future. There's a reason I had to buy that, it's because I busted the blade on my other one. Okay, and I have got, because um, I was doing this, I could do with a nice small um, needle files just to get into those little tiny nooks and crannies. We're going to be doing a lot of work on this particular jet and it's something I need because you know I have got some but to be honest crap so um, I thought right we'll have a look at some of those. We've got some of them. Uh, we've got some more bigger ones as well again I think just for carving out getting in and everything else. Literally you know my tool cabinet's absolutely full up as I said in a couple of weeks I'll take you right the way around here and we'll go through perhaps each day a particular cabinet and go through the tools and why I use them but it is that thing, I've got little gaps in there and sometimes I'm doing a build on that and you're thinking, I need such and such and can I get it, can I help? So anyway, I thought, right, we'll do that. The other thing as well, I've been asked about this time and time again and I don't think it's a particularly new 
uh, formula, but this is Plastic Magic Deluxe Materials. They did another one um, last year, and I actually looked at it then uh, and everything else. I didn't think it was quite as good as Tammy Extra Thin, if I'm honest, um, but a lot of people have said about that, obviously, it's a new one and everything else like that. This one comes with a longer brush, you can get right in the corner with it, and it's a bit easier and everything else. So I thought, well, look, doing this build, I'll give it a sort of on test as we make our way through, and I'll report back to you on it. But generally, it's... So apparently it's supposed to be just the same as a cross between a hybrid between the Mr. Hobby stuff and obviously um, you can see it's a liquid uh, and saying Tamiya extra thin I'm not sure but it does have a very nice brush with a longer applicator on it as well so you can get right down in the corner of the bottles with these although that brush is crap that's awful um, so yeah, uh, we'll we'll see. You know, at the end of the day, that's the reason why they say you can tip it on its side and do it like that. But we will see. We'll see what it goes like. Just give it the obligatory. It smells a bit like mech, to be honest. Okay, but yeah, we will see. We'll have a go with it and uh, see how we get on with it and everything else like that. So that's my morning sorted. I'm going to be down here working on the A10, absolutely thoroughly enjoying this and everything else. To be honest, we did have a bit of trouble with one of the cameras earlier. And to be honest, it's the 1800 quid camera. Well, I was a little bit worried, but I'm thinking it was a loose connection and a loose cable that goes in through the system for the recording and everything else, because it does seem to be being okay over there now. Anyway, time to get on. I'll catch you all a little bit later on and we'll see how we're getting on. Okay, so busy <laughs> to say the least. All right, so we've got the cockpit area put together. It's a little bit, mm, uh, yeah, this, obviously we're using the cutting edge um, cockpit for this one, which is actually the old black box one. Uh, and I found better instructions online about it, but there's still not a lot that goes on. Like it doesn't sort of mention how you really fit it or anything else like that, which is a little bit odd. Uh, because technically it says about removing one of the lines, so we've just spoken about that and we put that in. But it's all just a little bit wavy, shall we say. It's just a little bit iffy how all of this goes and how it sits and everything else like that. So what I've done is I've sort of done a basic job of how I think it's going to be. And then what I think we're going to have to do is literally just bite the bullet, go in there. And I'll use actually... Um, white tack or something else like that to roughly place it all in get it all sort of lined up see how it's going to be and go from there but this is going to be sort of a hybrid uh, absolutely everything going down in here so we said we've got various upgrade sets various bits and pieces so it is quite complex just working it out how exactly everything's going to go but we are all coming together we've got the back part done uh, done over there various other bits uh, for the mechanics of this one I've started cutting everything open so obviously we've got multiple panels to open on this one so I'm going through the message uh, and showing you guys exactly how we go about doing that to get nice, clean, crisp edges. And trust me, I'm not a martyr. We do hit the old uh, little multi-tools and things like that. And some diamond filed uh, blades, those new ones we spoke about earlier, are great for getting just in the little corners to make them nice and crisp and sharp and everything else like that. But I have to say, I am having fun. It is coming together slowly. It's one of those things of like, you know, shoehorning this together, getting it all in here. Once we get it in there, it will be really, really quick progress. Because when you look at the rest of it, it goes together really, really fast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of this out of the way, get the boxes down out of here, cut a lot of the stuff off the sprues, I think, this afternoon, and then I'm going to actually start to have sort of sub-assembly areas so we can have the wings over there, we can do the tailplane, I'm thinking we do the engine bits over there. So we've got various things on the go. So whilst I'm waiting for things like super glue and all the boring stuff to dry, I can get on with other bits and pieces as we make our way through. Anyway, the final part, part three. And I know we have been speaking about it for a while, guys, but, you know, people need to know it's up and available. That's why I do this, okay? But the final part of this little guy is up there now. Uh, obviously, it talks about final uh, metalizer coats, doing the invasion stripes, quick and easy way of doing all of that work. Uh, and then, obviously, the cock-up with the deckling, the bits and pieces like that. And the final gloss coat on the top, which, to be honest, is just normal floor care. Yeah, it's pledged floor care for the guys who are asking about that one as we make our way through. So generally, that is about it. Am I having fun? Yeah, I am. I'm really enjoying this. It's coming together really, really well. So until tomorrow, everybody, happy modeling. Take care.